Hi, Joe Curry here at Can-Am RV Center in London, Ontario. Really pleased to show you the Lance 1995. The 1995 is by far our most popular model. It's a good mid-size open concept, really easy to tow as well. A key to that is really lightweight materials. All surfaces are laminated, so floor, roof, front wall and back wall are laminated like the sidewalls. Just about every fiberglass triller will have laminated sidewalls. It's where the roof, floor, front and back, that makes a big difference. Much lighter, much stronger, much, much more reliable. Where most RV trailers are about a 20 year life expectancy, Lance is closer to 40. All composite substrates, a huck bolted frame, independent suspension that gives you better balance control, but it's also a softer ride, so the trailer is in better shape when you get there too. Weight of the trailer is secondary when it comes to towing. You do need power to get it up the hill, no question, but if you have a very aerodynamic shape, you have more power left over after you get it through the wind to take that weight up the hill. So look for a trailer, if you want an easy towing trailer, look for a trailer with a low stance. So look for the floor near your knee, not by your hip, Look for a nice radius at the front and look for something with good balance and stability. So again, low stance, wheel wells, that's going to help you with that low center of gravity. The radius front and the low stance is going to make sure the wind is deflected away. So that again, that V6 car, minivan, crossover SUV would have a nice time going anywhere in North America with the 1995 from Lance. Uh, it is a four season trailer. There's a package that you can take that will give you insulating blankets for your vent covers and skylights. It will have a forced he uh, heat duct going to the underbelly where your holding tanks are located. It is then insulated with that flex foil insulation. That's that bubble wrap that looks like tin foil. That's the flex foil insulation, really effective insulator. And with that heat duct down there, it's going to keep all the holding tanks from freezing and the valves from freezing. So you can actually use your water systems as long as the furnace is on, even in well below zero temperatures. We can also talk about some of the other storage compartments. Uh, the way they do their battery boxes are very unique. You'll see this in a number of our Lance videos here in these sessions. Uh, having a battery box on each side. It is a, a vented battery box. It's a metal door. It is lockable and there is a pull-out tray for your battery. It'll hold up to a group 27 battery. We supplied two group 24s so you have upwards of 170, 180 amp hours of power on board for when you're not plugged in. Uh, also part of your power pack is a solar panel connection point. So that is an OEM ZAMP connector. So any portable uh, solar panel will connect here and trickle charge your batteries. Again, the radius is beautiful, but this is a laminated front wall. It's laminated that it's covered with a sheet of fiberglass to get that nice arch for the aerodynamics but that also gives you the structural integrity to put a front window in place. We do not want a front window in a trailer if the wall at the front has movement. Other things to mention, the TPO shroud over your propane tanks. Comes standard with two propane tanks and you do have an option to fit a third in here as well. So if you want to carry 60 pounds of propane on board, you can do so. And they're in the 20 pound array, so you can do the tank exchange if there isn't a filling station nearby for you. Also the same material is the stone guard here. So that's molded and exclusive to Lance. That's the TPO material, very strong. Stones will not damage it. It does allow for a molding to inset some LED lights for docking, very, very nice. As well as it does curve down and cover the front of the chassis frame. By protecting that frame rail with that molded extrusion, you're gonna have a longer lasting, better quality trailer as well. Here on the front road side, we'll see the additional battery box. So there, as I mentioned, there's two in each of the Lance 1995s. Next to it is the slam latch baggage door generator compartment. You have uh, lots of storage on the other side with the same style of compartment door, nice and thick, bus style latches. So positive latching every time. But this venting allows us to place a generator inside and any of the fuel vapors are vented out versus going in, it is all completely sealed. So no weather, no fuel, uh, no vapors will get inside your trailer with this generator compartment here. Next to the slide box here near the rear of the trailer is your utility center. Uh, this is a hot and cold running shower. So nice pull up hose, 
here is cable and satellite connectivity. So if your park offers cable, you put it in here to show it through on your TV. If you carry a portable satellite dish on a tripod, you wire it here. Below we have the Marine Corps, so we're just showing here with a 15-amp adapter, but the 30-amp Marine cord is a 25-foot detached cord. We will give you a park adapter that goes from that big outlet to the 15-amp outlet like at home, so you can plug it in early to get the fridge cold, that kind of thing. And below that is our freshwater and our blackwater flush. And here we are at the rear of the Lance 1995. First, let's start at the ladder. The thickness of this ladder, the quality and robustness of a ladder that has uh, center contacts, bottom contacts, wraps up and is bolted to the roof. There's backer plates that are inside the walls to bolt it in. Very, very secure. The largest of individuals can walk up there and it is a walkable roof. Being laminated, it's one of the strongest roofs in the industry. Here we're seeing uh, the uh, water heater here is in a nice spot. It's away from your patio area, anything like that. We have the rear vision camera, not a backup camera. You can see behind you when you're going forward, which is really important for highway safety. You won't have that rear view mirror otherwise. So seeing directly behind you is very nice. Very well illuminated for safety on the road again, and lots of nice tall running lights above. So here we are inside the 2021 Lance 1995. Get a chance to see this latest decor for the 1995. This is the Mystic Shores. Came out last year to rave reviews. Very, very popular. Uh, popping the, the leg off this table and allowing it to drop down onto these struts gives you a sleeping space by putting the seat back cushions on top of the table. A really nice bed space here. It is a raised slide. That's part of the functionality of a lower stance trailer. Remember we were outside of saying where the floor is near our knee. That couldn't happen if the slide was at floor level because then the floor would have to be the ha uh, above the top of the tires for that slide to go out. So with the raised slide, we have really nice entry and exit into the slides. Very comfortable to do it that way. Across from the slide out uh, dinette, is the galley. Really nicely designed. Compact, efficient, very functional. The sink covers add a lot of counter space for prep, but being a one hole sink with a pull out sprayer, just a really nice place to, to do the business here. Big enough for a good sized pot and frying pan. You're not struggling with tiny mini double sinks or anything like that. And it's a composite sink here too, so it's not a uh, cheap plastic, it's, it's the good stuff. The molded countertop, there's no bull nose to lose over time. The flat top glass range uh, allows, again, for more prep space. You can fold that away for, to expose the grates. And a really nice heavy grate, not a cheap piece of wire here. A nice looking appliance here, very residential in its feel and theme. When you open the oven, we realize this is a really large oven for an RV. So obviously at the end of the galley, we have the fridge here, but notice this is a full size two door fridge. This is a nice fridge for a 19 foot trailer shelf with adjustable door storage here as well. Not too hard to open either. Really nice latches on this one. I don't have to get my thumb going and everything. Uh, again, adjustable door shelves here. A nice large crisper. Very, very high quality fridge component here as well. If you've seen the other Lance videos, this might not be as much of a surprise, but take a look at this. We've talked about the plywood construction of the cabinetry, and this is a great story. Notice there's no joinery here. This is one large piece of that hardwood poplar plywood. It actually has to come from Spain because no one in North America makes an all hardwood plywood. So they go to Europe to get it. And then they just router the openings. They router it out on a CNC machine. This is all computer design, computer cut. And so everything fits perfectly. So they just router it out, put a little plastic little gimp around to keep you from shredding your sweater when you reach in, that kind of thing. Uh, so very, very nicely designed. The entry system here, done the same way. One big face frame of plywood with your hanging closet with a nice large opening. And why doesn't every trailer have a closet at the door? <laughs> it's really something quite simple. Kick your shoes, hang your coat, throw in the rain jacket without dripping all over. Rather simple, Lance. And here we are in the washroom. So it's in the rear corner, so a nice efficient space, vanity, with room for the countertop for your morning prep, storage below, medicine cabinet with mirror above. The radius corner shower has a nice soft shower uh, curtain style that keeps everything inside with a track at the bottom <clears throat> as well as the top and a really, really nice traveling wand. And then to the left there, you'll see the porcelain bowl and that is a high rise porcelain bowl. It's not plastic. It doesn't rattle and, and move when you're sitting on it. It's easy to clean, it won't scratch and stain. 
Uh, there is a vent fan as well here. We have a skylight over the shower for natural uh, light and extra headroom for you taller guys. And a really nice, comfortable place for getting ready in the morning. The bed is a true queen size bed. It is a Serta brand mattress. It does have a nice Euro pillow top with that blue gel memory foam. This is a very high quality mattress and I think you'll find it's very comfortable as well. On either side of the bed you see you have nice uh, end table, night table scenarios there with those ledges for the glasses, the phone, the uh, CPAP machine or a book, uh, 12 volt charging AC on either side and really nice hanging lockers here again with the cherry doors. The nylon linings we call gimps there uh, to protect your, your clothing, keep it nice and smooth. A socks and undies drawer, soft clothes of course. Below the bed, storage, storage, storage. On piston, so effortless to access. Lots of space down here. I've had three laundry baskets in there at one time when we took the family along in a, a slightly different bunk model. What a great trip that was. As I mentioned, it's an awning style window where you just use the toggle to twist. <sighs> Hold it, I'm almost done. Hold it, let's do it this way. Since Lance puts the better components in place, we can just use the twisty toggle. <laughs> Simple little thing, but no other manufacturer uses that. But then we have the roller blinds. So first blind is an anti-glare blind. So that's your day shade, if you will. Uh, the tinting creates complete privacy at the daytime, but when you turn the lights on at night, you'll want the privacy screen that comes down as well and gives you that blackout privacy. With these valances and these blinds, complete blackout in the bedroom area and throughout the coach if that's what you want. So thanks for spending a few moments with us here with the 2021 Lance 1995. I'm Joe Curry. This is Can-Am RV Center and we're in London, Ontario. If you'd like more information about this or any of the other products that we offer, give me a call at 866-226-2678 or you can see us online, canamrv.ca.